my darlings, my name is Ashley and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you another DIY. I don't know about you, but my makeup drawers can get pretty messy sometimes, I hate to admit, so I'm always looking for new, inventive, cute ways to make it more organized. So I thought, why not start with the brushes? <laughs> I personally think it's kind of hard to organize brushes in a clean way, so I kind of came up with this idea, also saw it on Pinterest, so I thought I'd make my own creative take on it. So here we go. How to organize your makeup brushes. Of course, the fancy way. <laughs> First, you want to get a glass jar. I got mine at Goodwill for 50 cents, but you can also get them at Dollar Tree for a dollar. Next, you're going to grab some tape and you're gonna tape all four corners of whatever template you're using. <laughs> I'm actually using a Chanel logo template and I'll make sure to link that down in the description below. Voila! We are gonna to wanna to cover the Chanel logo with these pearls. They do have a sticky back, but I recommend using E6000 glue because it is the best. Thank you, Amber Scholl. But anyway, you're just gonna to wanna to take one end of the toothpick, dip it in the glue, and then you're just gonna stick it on the back side of the pearl. Just like so. Now you're just gonna place the pearls wherever the black is to make the two C's, just like so. Now just keep placing the pearls one by one on the C's, and this is a perfect time to binge watch a show. I am watching Scream Queens and it goes perfectly with the Chanel theme. If you haven't watched it yet, you'll see why. And there we have it. The two C's are done. My hands are really sticky with glue. Sorry, it's kind of messy. But now we have to do the drip marks. So I'm going to be taking diamonds instead of the pearls. It adds an extra glowy effect. So just do the same things as you did with the pearls. Add the glue on the back and just stick it on where the black is. I totally recommend using different sized diamonds to add a cooler effect. So I usually start on the top with a bigger gem and then I work my way to a smaller one. I am now realizing watching this, I am struggling putting these diamonds on and I should have used tweezers. So if you guys are going to do this, when you guys are putting those little diamonds on, use tweezers. That will make your life so much easier. Alrighty guys, we are almost done. Um, I ended up not writing Chanel because I didn't have enough pearls, but if you want to, I think that'd be so cool. But now we are just going to add sand. You can add whatever you want, but I picked out some really cute purpley sparkly sand to hold the brushes in. Also, <laughs> don't spill the sand on the carpet. It's really hard to get out. <laughs> just a quick tip. Okay guys, are you ready to see the finished product? Well, I hope you guys really enjoyed that. I am still currently picking off glue off my fingers because you know how E6000 glue is, it is sticky. This DIY was honestly so therapeutic. Um, it took about an hour to do, believe it or not, putting each diamond, each pearl on there. So definitely you wanna watch something while you're doing this, but honestly, it was such a great time. I really enjoyed making it. So if you guys want any more glamorous DIYs like this one, please leave a comment and subscribe to my channel and leave a like. It would really mean the whole world to me. Well, anyway, I hope you guys have so much fun making this or something similar to it. I would love to see what you guys did. So if you guys go follow me on my Instagram, you can DM me and send me pictures and that would be so cool. But anyway, have a fabulous rest of your day and happy DIY. Goodbye. <laughs>